Let's install Signal on our Linux computer. So Signal is a open source messaging app that I often use on my Android telephone. And I want to install it on my Linux computer so I can chat more easily. There's no web-based client for this, so you actually have to go to the website and download it and install it natively on your computer. So I'm at signal.org. And I can come here and I can go to get Signal at the top here. And then it knows I'm on Linux here, so it says download for Linux. And if I click this, it has some instructions for a Debian-based computer. Now I'm on Ubuntu 20, so that is a Debian-based computer. So I can grab this command here. It's wget, and this is how I add the signing key. So I'm going to copy this whole command. Control-C to copy. Go to my terminal, and I'll just paste this in there. Press Enter. And then I have to enter the password for my computer. Okay. If I come back here, I can copy this next section here. So adding the repository to the list of repositories. So I'm going to add this, copy that whole line, come back here, and let's paste that in, press enter. Okay, that's been added. And then finally, I can do a sudo apt update and then install signal hyphen desktop. So again, I'm going, oops, I want to just control C to copy, come back here and control shift V, paste it into my terminal and press enter. Okay, then I'll come up here and I will search for Signal. You can see that it's here and I press enter to launch the application. And over here in my sidebar where my applications are, you can see that it's launching the application here. Okay, so I can scan this code in the Signal app on my phone. So I'm going to open my phone here and I'll take my Signal app I'm going to go to settings. So up in the upper right, there's three dots. And I'm going to click settings from there. And then I'm going to tap linked devices. And there's no linked devices. So I'm going to press the plus icon in the bottom right of my phone. And then it has this, this scan uh, section pop up. So I'm going to scan the computer. And then I'm going to press link device with a little check mark there. So you can see here that this is the name under my linked device. So this just got this from my computer here. This is an ThinkPad X1 Carbon. And I'll finish linking the phone. Great, so now I'm in Signal and I can compose new messages by clicking Compose up here. I can see what's new by going through this little tutorial. So just talks about the newest release there. There's release notes, great. And I can maybe come through here and search for other contacts and messages or start a new one here like this and search through contacts this way. So that's how you use Signal and uh, hopefully this is helpful for you. All right, thanks, see ya.